Welcome back to Mainly Everything. Uh, sorry for the de delay in the video. Um, I've been trying to get them out daily, but I didn't have too much. I uh, kind of had a lot. Didn't have too many ideas and had a lot going on, so I didn't have too much time to think. But today, like I said a while ago, um, I bought a PB Swiss slotted screwdriver. Um, so I have their flathead, or I have their Phillips head, and I do like it. It's a good, it's a good screwdriver. Um, and here it is. I bought this on Amazon. Price on this guy was about $11. Um, it is a smaller. It's a three? Yeah. Um, this packaging is interesting, to say the least. It's like a taped up bag. Here, I'll just cut it. How about that? I hope you all are doing well. Um, thank you so much. I hit 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Really do appreciate it. Um, it is the PV 8100.3-120 colon 5 comma 5 X or by 0 comma 8. Okay, so Swiss grip handle, little small guy. Very interesting tip too. I hope it will focus on that. Yeah, it, it steps down. Someone else, I think I watched a video where someone talked about this. It's, it's it's made like this to prevent camming, I guess, and stripping, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, here, I'll compare it to uh, another bit, so you guys have an idea of what I'm talking about here. <clears throat> so, this is kind of like a standard, standard flat head. Um, straight on, that's what it looks like compared to straight on. A little bit different, obviously this one's a little bit bigger. But, uh, this one, a normal one doesn't normally step down like that. Like, there's a little divot that goes down and in. You might be able to see it. You can see it like that. Both sides. Um, not entirely sure, um, how much either better or worse it will be. I'm assuming it'll be halfway decent. It's PB Swiss stuff, so I like their stuff. I like this handle a lot. Um, here, actually, I'll grab a, I'll grab an, I'll grab an outlet plate real quick. So, here's a little outlet plate screw, um, white, and it does fit in there really nicely. It does turn it well. Um, it really actually fits it really well. Uh, it still moves though, it's not, it's not like a 100% perfect fit, it still moves quite a bit, but it does fit in there and stays in there pretty good. I don't know how good of a demonstration that was, but... Uh, I do appreciate you watching. This is a quick, really quick video, so really do appreciate you watching. Um, I have a bunch more videos coming up. Uh, I think one of them is another tool video, and then I have a bunch of other videos that I thought of that might be a good idea. Uh, also, these DeWalt blades do fit in the Knipex Cutex. They were a little bit weird because they are made a little bit differently, but they work good. Anyways, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.